You, know, you just play with energy, play with passion, run to the ball, um, make plays when the ball's in the air, you know, and, and just and lead wherever you at. You know? But many former players object to the settlement's definition of need. They say they're suffering from illnesses not covered under the proposed agreement. About 200 players have opted out. And if you look at the number of opt-outs on the it was less than 1%. So Who opted out of the settlement? Who opted out? And that number going down a lot of Okay, behind me, you can see SoFi Stadium. State of the art, the Los Angeles Rams and the Los Angeles Chargers. The National Football League is a cash cow. It is the richest sports league on the planet. It averages in revenue every year $10 to $15 billion. Merchandise, uh, ticket sales, rentals, naming rights, you name it. The money is a cash flow, a revenue flow, a gold bond for NFL owners. better processes in place with our medical personnel to identify the injuries. Uh, but we are preventing these injuries through wheelchair, through equipment. How would you appraise the settlement that was made? Well, it's something that we thought was important to do because uh, we want to make sure that the players who may need help, who may need assistance, or their families, get that as soon as possible. The question that Hamlin raised, and will continue to raise, the NFL with all of its wealth, with all of its power, with all of its prestige, with all of its support, what about its most valued asset, its most valued prime employees, namely the players, are they benefiting from all of the financial largesse of the NFL and the owners? Are they, in fact, taken care of and treated? Um, we're not just talking about as players, but as individuals, a league that cares about them. Where are we with respect to concussions today? Well, we've uh, made significant changes to the game at the NFL level, which I think have impacted all of the game. These are issues that are on the table. The Hamlin, catastrophic Hamlin injury cast yet again another telling and in many ways ugly glare on the National Football League. If you're a leader or if you ain't, if you ain't considered a leader, you know, just lead wherever you at and 